before I start my presentation, let me introduce my team member. My name is Kelvin Lester William, and my team partner is Aman bin Muhammad Hidayat and Zel Ashraf Kusnadi. We are student of culinary art from Kenyaw Vocational College, Sabah, Malaysia. Uh, today we will talk about our project, which is called uh, Innovation Development of Borneo Licking Pest. The main purpose of this project is to introduce this product that was inspired from our ethnic food to the Sabah community, community and the uh, diversified variety of Sabah best product, especially uh, cooking paste. So project introduction. As a culinary art student in our college, my team and I choose uh, to do the research on food in Sabah. So we choose licking fish as our main ingredient. So what is licking fish? Licking fish is bajau food in Sabah, which is one of tribes in Sabah. They are famous in West Coast Division in Sabah. Licking fish is made from sea fish called queen fish or talang. The process in making licking fish is they usually use a traditional method like uh, drying and salting. Uh, we move on to problem statement. We have three problem statement. Uh, the first one is day by day people will slowly forget their own heritage food. And the second, there is a limited market on local ethnic food. And the, and the last, licking has not been fully explored in the Malaysia food industry. Uh, this is why we want to expand the market for our uh, tra traditional food and licking fish might seem like a great start. We continue to our objective. We are, there are three objectives of our project. The first one is to identify the main ingredient, ingredient to develop uh, licking fish paste. And the second, uh, to, to, uh, to develop the standard formula for making a real uh, product, real product of licking fish paste. And the last one is uh, to, de to determine the level of consumer acceptance on licking fish cooking paste. So we, uh, I proceed. The next slide to Aman. Okay. okay. This project is significant in many research. First, it increased the awareness of the community, especially people of Sabah on traditional food. Okay. Second, it helps to diversify the local paste variations of Sabah in Malaysia. And the last one, our product can help to improve the marketing of licking fish in Sabah. Next slide. Let me introduce the main ingredient of our product, licking fish. Licking fish, scientific name called Combiroids lisan, that needs to be salted and dried. The name of the fish before processing is talang. Licking fish will be fermented for a long duration. According to a researcher named Susanna, talang fish has many good nutrients for our body. Next slide. Next one, fried rice paste. Fried rice paste is a semi-liquid cooking paste used in the cooking process to produce food. There are many types of cooking paste that are popular in Malaysia, such as noodle paste, soup paste, and many more. So this is the initial design for our licking paste packaging, which is inside a jar that is placed inside a paper bag to make it convenient for people to carry and store. Okay, next slide. Uh, for population sample and location, we choose five culinary arts lecturers to verify our products since we are doing our research at Keningau Vocational College, of course. Uh, next slide. For our research instrument, we use uh, questionnaires, which is we will give form to those that try our product, and we are hoping to get their feedback after trying our product. And another method we are using is uh, product testing. Okay, next slide. Um, this is a few examples of product uh, that has been used licking fish as their main ingredients, such as uh, sambal petai and everything. Okay, next slide. 
Uh, this is the example of the unprocessed licking fish, which is before it getting fermented uh, for, uh, into fermentation process, it calls uh, ikan talang, fish talang. Okay, next. Okay, so the conclusion is this project, uh, from our project, we are hoping that this project can give us chance and opportunity to expand and produce more traditional foods, especially in Borneo, so that this can be one of the factors for our country economic boost and expanding our marketplace with own cultural products. Okay, next slide. Okay, that's all from us. Thank you so much for your attention.